Hi guys, I am TS Villa. Please make sure you give my Twitch channel a follow. I have been playing Marvel Rivals, which has been absolutely awesome. This game has been such a game changer for me. The uh, arena type battles, the PvP kind of games, do not really speak to me as much. I play a lot of Overwatch 2 off stream. Uh, we recently come back to it because of the uh, Transformers collaboration. Um, but um, I, I just... I just heal. I just heal. I'm a Mercy main. I just heal constantly. Um, the other characters don't really draw me to use them, but I'm happy to be a uh, healer for the uh, for the party. But this, guys, Marvel Rivals. We're playing the close beta testing, and it is absolutely awesome. Honestly, each character has their own unique uh, take on how to play this game, uh, how to uh, work as a team as well. A team is very important in this. You can't pick a character and just steamroll it uh, and uh, not have the support of your teammates. You do need to have the rest of them involved as well. So we've got tanks, damage, supports. This is what we've got in this game. Uh, we have a lot of characters involved at the minute in the uh, the closed beta testing. There are, I think there are a few more that were announced, but maybe that was to do with the alpha. Maybe they had some characters there. I'm not too sure I wasn't part of the alpha because I'm playing on the PlayStation 5. But I started the game off by maining Luna Snow. This is a new character to me. I do not know who this character was. Um, apparently she is a Korean pop singer. So this is incorporated into her actual... Gameplay as well. So her ultimate is her dancing and singing and you can heal whoever's in the surrounding area or you can buff their damage that they are going to be um, making on the enemy, which I think is absolutely awesome. Depending on where you are in the stage of battle, if no one needs to be healed, just buff the hell out of your team. Let them do it. I think they do. I think it does like double damage. Maybe I think it is. I'm not too um, into all that kind of the... Uh, the, the total in the science and all that kind of stuff and how, how much uh, percentage everything increases by with the buffs. But it definitely looks something similar to uh, doubling the amount of damage you normally do. Um, also, I have, uh, have been maining Loki as well. So it's easier for someone like me to pick different characters from different you know tank uh, support or damage. Uh, if I can main at least two of those characters in each section then I could just go online, doesn't matter, I'm playing with random people at the minute, so it doesn't really matter who I get paired with. So I've been um, I've been forced to use healers as well, so I've, I've made sure that I can use at least two of these healers in case someone else is Luna Snow, because uh, she's quite easy to pick up. So if you want to heal, definitely pick her up. I will say though, if you want to heal and deal a lot of damage, Rocket is your man. He's also got an ability that revives people as well. So reviving, attacking and also healing as well rocket is very good pick that up if you want to start somewhere with healing um so loki loki was the second one that i now main uh he's really really good and i'll tell you why he's really really good um maybe i don't know i'll do some editing but maybe i'll put some little clips in as well but loki uh he can heal he can uh create a doppelgangers of himself and then use a heal button and both those areas where he's standing heal so you, can, you don't have to just heal where you're standing. You can position the doppelganger in amongst everyone else where they all are to give them a heal if you don't want to go right into the uh, the midst of battle. You can heal in two places at once, which is I think is absolutely awesome. But that's not the best thing about him, and it's not even a healing thing as well. His ultimate, you know, Loki, King of Mischief, uh, God of Mischief, shall I say. Uh, he, his ultimate allows you to be anyone on the battlefield. As long as you're targeting it, as long as you've got your crosshairs on that character, whether it's your team or their team, you can turn into that character. Now, for me, I use Loki this way because it will segue into the next part of this uh, this talk. Loki, for me, uh, I'm always healing. I'm always healing, making sure everyone is all, is all safe and that as we're progressing. And then the ultimate comes out. I make sure either we've got a Punisher or they've got a Punisher, Fingers crossed they have if we haven't. Uh, and I'll turn into the Punisher. I can then use his normal abilities and then use his uh, ultimate ability as well. So Punisher, guys, is my main for damage. He is so OP with his uh, with his his weapons. So he's got a um, he's, he's got he's got double Gatling guns for the uh, uh, for his ultimate. He's also got a turret that he puts down with his R1 as well. If you put the turret down, uh, you are 
positioned, you can't move, you're not you, you're stationary, you could obviously you can move on you can pivot on the actual turret, but you can't move. So if you put yourself in the middle of battle and everyone sees you, they can just attack you, you can't defend yourself. So you need to be very smart where you put the turret down. Uh, but the turret itself does not have a timer. This was something I found out and I was like, has this got a timer? Because this would be so cool if it hasn't. And it hasn't got a timer. It is until you get zero ammunition. So from the, the minute you put the turret down, you can put it down at the start of a battle if you want, and you could just wait. There's no there's no time limit on it whatsoever. But as long as you position it in a certain way where you're not going to be attacked, but you also can either pin them back, pin the other characters back from the uh, from the other from the enemy team, or you can uh just fire straight down the middle clear a path for all the rest of your team to go down um it is it's so cool it's so cool so you can just unleash half your ammo if you want and then you can just wait you can just wait there's no timer it won't run out uh, he's also got an ability as well if you ever get stuck in battle you've got an ability to use a kind of like a grappling hook which turns into kind of like a zip wire you um you could just zip wire out. Uh, the range is quite long, actually. It's quite far for him. Um, I'm just going to talk to you about the characters that I use because it's easier to talk to you about the characters I use because um, I'm still learning other characters, but I wanted at least two characters uh, to main in each um, each section so that uh, when I go online to do randoms and that, because there's no, there's no queue for roles or anything like that. It's just basically first come, first serve. Uh, you can all have you can have you can have as many tanks as you want if you want and no healers it's up to you uh, it's a bit of a shame when when stuff like that happens but uh, you do push hard the tanks have uh, more health as well so that is another thing to think about with tanks they have more health um, as well as uh, you know th they're going to be able to uh, uh, regenerate shields so they've got shields as well uh, the second our main is Iron Man Iron Man is really really good I have put some feedback in about Iron Man where he's He's got an ability. You press circle. He 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 flies around. He flies around, which is classic Iron Man. That's that's what you want as well. But when when you're up in the air and you're not flying, you're kind of hovering like this, and you can go left and right a little bit in that. But I feel I feel like it's really really slow. I feel like Iron Man needs thrusters to go left and right just to push him a little bit faster out the way because if you're if you're then getting shot, you either fly off forward or uh, you, you kind of like. Just, Move out the way as you as you're turning around. So flying off forward, you're going, you're kind of going towards battle in a way, aren't you? Really. So um, I, I feel like Iron Man needs uh, thrusters um, just to just to push propel him one side to the other. Um, but he has um, he's got a laser which is constant, so his ammo is constant. Uh, you hold down the laser; it doesn't automatically target anyone, but it just kind of targets whoever's in your line and it depletes it very very quickly there's two versions of this there's one where you can press triangle and then he's got like a, a more powerful version of lasers and rockets as well so um that is um that is something to think about obviously there's a there's a limited uh, amount of time that you can use the more powerful version of it but if you're up in the air it is hard for people to get you so but do watch out for people who have uh, like uh, had guns and stuff like that, like Rocket and the Punisher, because I always tell my uh, my my team, make sure just target, just ping ping the Iron Man or it's it's all Iron Man or Storm, uh, ping them up in the air because people on the ground, the melee characters, uh, c can't reach them, can't reach them whatsoever. Um, okay, so then my two the two mains for the um, the damage rolls, so tanks. Tanks. I can't remember. I, I genuinely, for, at the time of recording this, I genuinely can't remember what they were called. But they're basically tanks. And uh, what I use is Venom and Doctor Strange. I use these two. Venom is uh, like I remember when I first put this uh, closed beta test on, and I got absolutely wiped out by anyone who was Venom. And I was saying to my friends, I was saying online, I was saying everything like this. I said, if you've got a Venom on your team, you've guaranteed to win your game. Uh, it just turns out I wasn't playing it right. <laughs> it turns out I wasn't playing it right. But Venom is very, very powerful. He is someone I feel benefits from having a pocket healer. So if you've got someone who constantly likes to heal one of your tanks, is absolutely perfect combination for a Venom. Um, if you just, let's just say we've got we've got Jeff the Langshark in there now. We've got Rocket. We've got uh, Loki. We've got uh, Mantis. Uh, yeah, Luna Snow's in there. Adam Warlock is another healer as well. So 
if you've just got one of these characters, let's just say you've got two healers, uh, your your team's doing really well and you're pushing, pushing really hard to um, to occupy the uh, the base or or moving the spider across. If you've got one of these healers spare, you could just stick it on Venom. Now Venom has his own shield as well, which is much like the Hulk as well, uh, where he can he presses R1 and then he's got his shield. Um, that that stops any of his health going down, then it gives you time for the healer to actually heal you up. Um, Venom is very, very good. Venom is very, very good. His, his ability, uh, he just he just attacks with his tentacles constantly. Doesn't matter where the character is that you're you're fighting against, where your character is, it will just it would just grab it. It would just it would just hit it, hit it slowly, slowly. So you don't have to be facing the character. You can just literally be near the character and it will, it will get the hits. It will get the hits. Um He's also got a little swing as well. So he's got obviously, you know, Spider-Man Venom. Uh, he's got a little swing. So you press the L uh, L1. Uh, he flies off. And then as long as you kind of position yourself before you land, as long as you position yourself before you land, you can literally press square and uh, he will do a dive bomb into maybe a crowd, a bit of crowd control there for you, maybe in a crowd of uh, characters there from the enemy. So I think he's really, really great. If you know how to play him, and a lot of people do know how to play him, which is why I kind of hope every time I jump online, uh, play with a load of randoms, that someone picks Venom straight away. Because I don't. I always hold myself back and just go, well, who, who are people going to be? Who are going to be big? I've got two from each section, so it doesn't really matter, really. I'm going to be at least one of these people. Uh, the other one is Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange, I main, I say I main, uh, I've been learning them for the last couple of days, and I've really, really enjoyed this. The ability, okay, so I picked him up quite recently, so I've been playing like a week or so with uh, with all these other characters, getting absolutely obliterated by Scarlet Witch's um, <laughs> ultimate, or even even Iron Man. Like I, Iron Man's ultimate is a is a, is a blast from his chest, um, right down. If you're down there, if you're not a tank, that instantly kills you. Um, so I've I've been instantly killed quite a few times. But if I use these two as an example, Doctor Strange has his shield so he uses the power of his ring he uses his sorcery and everything like that he creates a shield um you can have this up but when you have the shield up you can't attack but here's the here's the catch okay so when you're attacking with dr strange you're building up dark magic okay you're building up dark magic and then at some point you either you have to let the dark magic go or it heals you okay so when you let the magic go you press r1 and it kind of gives like a little pulse blast off okay but like i said you can't you can't shoot when you have the shield up so you're holding the shield up and you can't shoot so you can just take all this damage uh control you know push your team forward while everyone's behind you with the actual shield a bit like reinhardt from um uh, overwatch 2 uh but you can actually press r1 during this moment so if your dark art is actually um full the dark magic dark arts i can't remember what it's called uh, if it's full, then you can just hold it back a bit, put the shield on, and then as you're pushing people forward with your shield, just uh, just just press the uh, the R1 button and bang. That's an attack there, but you still got your shield out as well, which is, I think is pretty cool. Um, I'm still learning his um, his his portals, so his uh, he creates portals during the uh, the match, and uh, I don't know if it's more for like your team to escape or for you to kind of get yourself behind the rest of the team kind of thing um but yeah i'm still i'm still trying to learn that kind of thing the uh ultimate for doctor strange the eye of agamotto this is <laughs> this is a good one because anyone in the vicinity of uh you using this um gets astral projected so that means there's two versions of that character no matter which one you shoot the character will take damage so you've got twice uh, many attempts to uh, hit hit damage on this actual character, uh, so I think that's really really cool idea. Doesn't last for very long though, but it does get a multiple uh, amounts of people, so it is pretty cool that uh, you've got this. Um, but yeah, he's also got a levitation as well because of the cloak and levitation. He's got that, but I, I kind of rarely use that. His uh, his normal ability is R two, shall I say? Because I'm playing on PlayStation Five, guys. Um, his R2 ability is, um, it just basically zaps away, a bit like Scarlet Witch. So Scarlet Witch has got a little uh, thing. I'm, I'm, I haven't really played much of Scarlet Witch. 
I just know that her ultimate absolutely destroys everyone. <laughs> so uh, yeah, yeah. Doctor Strange got a similar thing where it just kind of zaps away. I think it's like, I think it's like three, three proper um, hits of it, and and you know a normal enemy uh, dies. Not a tank though, not a tank. So yeah, it is pretty. Uh, it's pretty tough to get rid of a Hulk and a, and a Venom. But if you've got multiple people on them, because the tanks have more health than everyone else. So those are the um, those are the two characters from each section that i've been using um let me let me know what you guys are maining guys what do you main have you only stuck with one character or one one area like support damage or tanks let me know guys this is just a quick video of me talking to you about marvel rivals i'm playing this on stream so please make sure you give me a follow over on twitch ts villa uh, i'm playing it all week on stream this week so please jump in uh, if you haven't got a uh, closed beta testing key you only have to watch the channel for an hour, then you can uh, redeem it through Twitch. Make sure you do connect your Twitch to the Marvel Rivals website. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. If you're watching this on YouTube, please make sure you subscribe and give the video a like as well. I will see you in the battlefield.